Hi guys, this is Noora from Capit Simplified. We are here again with Prabhjot and Dr. Golden for 10 tips that Prabhjot has compiled for all you mothers out there to navigate this process. I'm going to call out the tips and Prabhjot is going to talk more about it. So tip number one, setting expectations. So when you start planning for the US program, start with the long term planning. Start from the basic, start from the study planning, start with the in financial investments, in, in emotional investments, discuss it with your family, with your partner and then start your path. Perfect. Tip number two, strategic planning. First we'll address studying. Okay. So once you have decided you are coming to US, start finding out the study materials. So once you have your study material, think if you want to take the exam date first or you want to see the study material. In both directions you can work. If you are a person who, don't, who cannot study without a deadline, first book the exam date then move on that pathway. Other option is you see the how much study you want to do in how much time you can do it. Then if you, you are done with your study, take the exam and go for it. Perfect. So in Dr. Golden's words, set a timeline. Yeah. And fit your plans into this timeline and don't exhaust yourself with all the study material. Limit the study material to that is which is required. Perfect. Tip number three is strategic planning for travel, especially for women who are pregnant. So ladies who are pregnant, who are coming to US to take the exams, who are coming all the way from India, first consult with your gynecologist. So if you are pregnant and consult with your gynecologist, find out the safest period to travel, take your all the medications along with you. So there are some uh, trip advisory on the airlines. If you are traveling through any airline, they have their forms. Take the written permission from the gynecologist so that you can come here and go back to your country. Second is insurance. So I think most of you must be knowing that there are travel insurances for the pregnant women. So I found out one that is Max Bupa. I paid around $400 for my whole six month stay. So it was easy for me to cover all my pregnancy issues when I'm here. Third is take your health support along with you. But still trust in yourself. If you don't have any partner or your family member along with you, don't think you won't be able to manage. I did it so you can do it. I think that's a very important tip uh, that will motivate a lot of pregnant women out there who are doubtful about traveling to the US. Tip number four, make a social network. So if you think you are alone and you won't be able to manage, try to find out a social network in which you have women of the same age, of same boat. So like Capital Simplified, they are launching a page or a form and you can find similar women on that page and you can make a social network. You can get emotional support from each other. That way you can succeed. Yes, guys. Capit Simplified is launching a forum on 18th May. And we'll have a separate channel for pregnant women and mothers who are having very young children. So you can find your social network. You can find resources to take support through that page. So tip number five, trust. This is the most important part for a mother. Being a mother, I understand it's difficult for you to trust or you hand over your kids to somebody. But trust me, the, those somebody are your lifesavers. Like I trusted my grand, my mother-in-law and she's still taking care of my kids and I'm doing my DDS. So if I can trust, then you also can trust. Yes. So in terms of that, I think Prabhjot, can you elaborate on uh, what kind of support they can take for kids in the US and yes, in India? Definitely. So if in you are in US, you have many options. If you don't have a family member to take care of your kids, you can go to care.com. In that website, you can look out for daycare opportunities or nannies, they can come to your family and take care of your kids. Like in India, we have preschools. I paid almost 2500 to 3000 to take care of my kids for one month. But here, it's like somewhere around 15 to $20 per hour. So you can manage your finances. Perfect. Tip number six, the most important one, is to shout out with pride and not sympathy. Yes, that's the most important part. Like a mother, sometimes you feel so depressed, you have to take a one year gap or two year gap. So you can mention that in your SOP. So people are here so understanding, they can understand your problems. Don't take it as a sympathetic part, take it as a, your pride. 
Being a mother is the most proudest part of your life. So shoot out with your pride. And, awesome. Uh, always include this thing, your this uh, travel, this journey, your this part moment into your SOP. It looks great on SOP. So. That those are some amazing, amazing tips that were compiled by Prabhjot. Now let's hear it from the father and the husband and of course Prabhjot's support system about certain tips that mothers can follow and also you husbands and fathers out there. Yeah, uh, for mothers to be successful, even fathers have to sacrifice something. You have the fathers have to be supportive, do the background work. Do the financial management. <laughs> Yeah, that's important too. Yeah. They're Same. probably going to be the first to review your application. Yeah. So yeah. You can review SOP for your wife <laughs> and uh, do some paperwork and financial management. You uh, don't want to uh, worry your wife, worry for this financial. So when I was studying, I was free of my all the worries. He did all the financial management. He took care of my kids. Yeah. So he made me confident I can travel to US and come back. And I was free of all the worries. So that's the most important part that a husband can do. So take advantage of your support system, guys. I hope this video helped. Have an amazing day, everyone. Thank Bye you. Bye, everyone.